Okay, thank you. Well, now move to our closing statements, and Ms. Shannon, you can go first. When you cast your vote this year, there is a lot more at stake than names on a ballot. What you're being asked to decide is nothing less than the future of our state, the kind of place we want Michigan to be, and the legacy we'll leave for the next generation. It's a big decision, and one I know you're not taking lightly because you're here tonight. I know what I want for Michigan. I want Michigan to be a top state. A top state when it comes to educating all our children, connecting them with opportunities, and protecting them and the resources that we've been given. A top state for people and businesses to invest. But I know we're not going to get there if we keep cutting our way to the bottom and putting the interests of wealthy corporations above the needs of hardworking families. We can and we must do better. There is nothing more powerful or important that we can do to transform our future than to reinvest in education. I say that not just as a former teacher, but as a parent, as a taxpayer, and as the child of immigrants who came here with nothing but their education. And I say that as someone who has talked to thousands of people across this district of all political persuasions, nearly every single one of them cited education as the top issue facing our state. We all know we're living through very polarized times, and I believe this election can help heal the divide because we have the chance to shift our priorities back to the issues that we all care about, regardless of political party. Creating healthy, safe communities, giving all kids a world-class education, ensuring we have clean water coming out of our taps. As a journalist covering the Capitol, it's been my job to be your eyes and ears in Lansing asking tough questions and holding our leaders accountable. Now I'm prepared to take everything I've learned, both in the classroom and in the newsroom, and use it to serve you in the legislature. I'm asking you to join me in putting people over politics and send me to Lansing so that together we can make Michigan a top state. Okay, thank, thank you. you. And Ms. Bowl. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming. It's great to look out there and see so many people that are interested and engaged in the process. I am Ann Bolin. I currently serve as the Brighton Township Clerk. I have been the clerk for 15 years. I'm the wife of a small business owner, the mother of millennials, a community volunteer, and a community leader. When I am involved in all these other activities and organizations, I hear over and over how great Livingston County is. I believe that we are doing great things in Livingston County. We have state streets, strong schools, Many educational opportunities, our communities are abundant in recreation and family opportunities. We have a very prosperous business environment, and I want to make sure that Livingston County can stay that way. These days, the overreach in Lansing, and those decisions that are made in Lansing, do not stay in Lansing. They affect each and every one of us. My experience will help me cite those right out of the gate, and make a difference in evaluating and determining how best to vote on those. When I'm out knocking on doors and meeting people, the number one thing I hear is that people want civility. They want to know that their voice is going to be here. I am on a mission to make sure that we have civil conversations and we are able to work together, live together, and play together. It's extremely important. I want good schools, good roads, clean water, all these things for my family and for you. Livingston County residents do deserve better roads, an economy that works for everyone, opportunities and meaningful, expanded educational opportunities and meaningful reforms that support local families and businesses. I will push for more accountability and transparency, ensure fair elections, and represent Livingston County residents in Lansing. I want to be your voice for Livingston County values. As your next state rep, I will serve the district with integrity, a okay. strong fiscal conscience. Thank you. And that uh, our time is up. Thank you.